What's up, tubers? Welcome back to the channel. We've got another Watch in the Box video for you. Today we're looking at the highly anticipated, much celebrated 1964 Impala SS Lowrider Revell recent repop in 125th scale. Uh, it has newly tooled wheels. That's about all it says about it being retooled or new. Uh, but we're going to go ahead and crack it open and take a look at what's inside. Like I said, uh, much anticipated, and I've already seen and heard good things about this kit. The old kit, uh, as seen in the background, we'll talk about that in a little bit here, um, is is definitely one of those nice ones where it's a separate frame, uh, has multiple uh, lowrider stance options and opening hood or trunk. So we're going to crack this thing open and take a look at what's inside. Followed by a brief discussion about the old one, the uh, the original. I plan to do a little bit of a comparison to those kits. We'll do that in a whole different video. Oh my gosh! First impression is it's it's tight in there. As per the norm of the channel here, we will flip it and check it. I'm curious to see. The difference in the wheels but we'll uh, pull this stuff off the side and look at the instruction booklet first as well as the decals pretty standard Revell uh, black and white looks like their typical typical instruction booklet it's always something briefly you know a brief couple paragraphs or sentence about the car uh, Wow Oh wow, those look really nice. Um, I will take photographs of the decals and the body parts, put those at the end of the video. And I was curious about this. Yes, the jacking instructions for in the back of the trunk decal is good. The one that uh, the old one that I have are shot, so very nice. Good looking stuff there. Some. Uh, you know, lowrider club stuff and some some patterns that, well, that's that's really cool. I wish I could learn how to do that with an airbrush for real. Uh, again, we'll take pictures of it and uh, we can get a better look at everything that's on there. Moving on to let's do the body part first and the wheels. Take a closer look. I have a set of the old ones, the originals. And they are saying that that's what's new about this kit. So, we'll, we'll see. Uh, that old one, I got that used. It was a used score. And it was, the, the box was beat up. Here, I'll pull that out just for a second. Uh, obviously, water damaged and the inside was, you know, the decals were shot. But it was a sealed bag, just like this. I'm like, oh, okay. Usually they demand a pretty high price. I got it for really cheap. Oh, interesting. Come on. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, off. Are those just wedged? I don't want to break the frame. No. Wow. That is really jammed in there. Tweak the frame at all? Doesn't look like it. It's nice when they're they're attached on a big solid sprue piece like this. Help keep it flat and level, which isn't all that critical since I, I mean I you know not guaranteed, but most people will take advantage of that. Uh, you know the option to do the through wheel motion. So first off, the body looks really nice, nice and clean. Uh, don't see any hideous flash or short shots or the Revell kits I've noticed their panel lines are a little bit shallow a little bit shallow that can those will pull out with a little uh, you know the back of an exacto knife or your engraving tool nice raised letters for the decals and badging as well as the trim looks good good looking car the one that I got is also a little bit wonky right there on the A-pillar, A-frame, but 
Uh, it doesn't matter because I'm going to do the, I'm going to make a Cheech and Tron car out of it. The, the love machine. Nice details in the bottom of the chassis. And it, you know, like we saw earlier, the frame is separate. So you can do a really nice detailed job on that. Uh, radiator shroud, seats, dashboard, which looks like there's a insert for there to give you further details. You ever use hinge hoods? How many people use their hoods, their hinge hoods? You? I, I, I never do. I'll use them to hold on to when I'm painting. <laughs> and then the trunk lid, separate piece that, oh, that fits in there. Really nicely. Well, I guess I'll figure out how to use the hood, the hinges on that. Frame looks really solid. It's got some bracing in it that you'll need to cut out, but that's that's nice to see. So another stiffener while well, it's in transport. More suspension parts, firewall, rear seat. Really good details, really good prominent lines and marking. Looks nice. Looking forward to building this. Dual exhaust in separate pieces, two separate pieces. That's nice to see. Uh, engine components, looks like a coil, a starter, and something else. Yeah, the distributor with a vacuum advance, old school. Neat. Yeah, I can see right away this this tree is identical to the old one. I have it back here somewhere. It's no different. Your batteries, your amp, wheel backs, horn, horns. <laughs> what sound does that make? Come on now. <laughs> More white trees here. Your <coughs> engine, engine halves, and other components, and then more steering stuff so you can set it in different uh, different heights. I also noticed that the tie rods are three different pieces. I was looking at the other kit, so you can do the three wheel motion or raised front or back. Very cool. That's pretty neat to see it in separate parts, other than the uh, the Monte Carlo that I did, the MT Monte. I had to cut it myself. Uh, it was a kind of a kind of a drag. Looks good. Good looking stuff. Nice crisp details on the door cards and the interior. It's gonna look good with this thing all painted up. Mm, not sure what that is. Oh, uh, that's probably a trunk insert. Yep. can't see it on camera but there's a little lip right there at the very tip be careful not to damage that hey everything's really really good nice and crisp some reds for your triples your cat eyes very cool front and the rear separate pieces for glass there's a quarter window molded in to the front one piece uh, the oh okay I can see right away that that's one difference there's only one set of tires the original has two you can build it stock as well so I think I remember hearing that that that's one thing that you can't with this one is build it as a stock model good looking chrome definitely good looking chrome the wire baskets and the chain wheel with the knockoffs the spinners the dumps and the carburetor also another good looking chrome tree looks like do they say Craigers on them? No, they're not marked or licensed, but nice Coke bottle, you know, good looking wheel. So is that, that's the new tooling? Cause it can't really be the, um, 
the back. So this is the tree from the old kit. So you can see it has stock hubcaps and there's two sets of tires. This is the low riders and another stock set. Uh, we're not really going to do a comparison on side by side, but looks like that's that's it. The that's your that's your new tooling. Is those Coke bottle wheels? Very nice. It's a good looking kit. I'm definitely looking forward to building this one out. Uh, yeah, they look like they're the same. And then you know we'll take these out, take a look at it. I mean, it is an unboxing. Nice, nice soft, kind of wide, wide low profiles, which, you know, those will look good on those. For sure. They almost look a little, like a little bit like a stretched tire. Very cool. So that about does it for the, what's in the box? The Revell 64 Impala SS, region repop. Definitely looking forward to this kit and building it up. Um, I've got something else in line right now, but then I'm going to crack this one open and start building on it. And while I do that, I'm going to take a look and see how much difference there is, if there is any at all. But there's that tree. I mean, I can tell that that's, it, it, it looks like the same to me. I, I did notice when I was looking at them too that even the color is similar so that your call outs will be similar but that's about it i'm kind of rambling now thanks for watching hope you enjoyed it and we'll see you in the next one